Hey guys, Eric here from Jeff Max Supply. So we've got this wicked crack we're going to address while also keeping structural integrity on the project that we're working on. So follow along, we're gonna try and get these knocked out. So this, this crack is nice and wide, it's fairly big, probably going to cause some structural issues that could potentially creep up later. Piece could break off, snap, the wood could move. There's a lot of different things that could go on here. So some of the different options are a ring, a dog bone, a bow tie. I could take a couple of bow ties and utilize those. I'm gonna put my bow tie where I want it to go. I'm gonna mark around it with a pencil. Don't have to mark around the entire thing. Now I am having to keep the center of my bow tie off of the center of my crack just because I've only got a little bit of wood to work with out here on the edge. I don't wanna blow out the end of the slab. So I have to offset it in just slightly. And again, I'm marking the outside of my bow ties here just so that I can get proper alignment with my template. And I know that once I put my template tape on my template, I can align it perfectly so that my bow tie is the exact spot. So I'm just taking a different template that I have, putting it over my router, and then also taking my bow tie, placing it up against my router bit and checking it to make sure that my router bit isn't sticking above my bow tie because basically what I wanna do is I wanna be able to go back and sand this smooth at the end. I want my bow tie to stick up from my work surface a little bit. Uh, now that I know that I'm at the proper depth, I'm gonna go ahead and hog out the hole for the bow tie. Now some of the benefits of a bow tie, because of its shape, it also adds some structural integrity to your piece as well. So not only is it a decorative feature that's going to get rid of an unsightly mark, but it also adds that rigidity and stability to your piece. Now you'll notice that that bow tie fit very, very snugly. However, that lets you know that you're going to have a really tight fit, that you're not gonna have some ugly unsightly gaps around the outside of your bow tie. So if it fits that tight, that's exactly how it's supposed to go. Not only are these going to serve as a good looking aesthetic, but it's also going to serve structurally to hold everything together. We make these in quarter as well as half inch. Dog bones, rings, and the bow ties all come in two different thicknesses. It gives me the ability to utilize this space on my board or on my table. We appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, definitely let us know. We'd love to hear from you about what it is that you wanna see in your shop.